The Snowy Mountains has always held an iconic place in Australia, from the Banjo Patterson poem to its stunning snow-capped wilderness. But at its heart is the Snowy Hydroelectric Scheme, a giant achievement of modern engineering. It was a very ambitious project begun in the 1940s, driven by the need to fight droughts. Controversial at the time, it's now become a major tourism destination. Kurma itself has been semi-renowned for the amount of renewable energy with the Snowy Hydro Scheme and stuff like that. My father was involved with the Snowy Mountain Scheme and um, that did wonders for Kurma. I mean, we were the original alternative energy. Sari started as a great idea. The Snowy Hydro pioneered what could be done and since then, the southeast of New South Wales has been driving the charge for renewable energies. Towering wind turbines, solar farms and bioreactors. It's happening at a rapid rate. And now an industry cluster called Suri is helping to drive it. This New South Wales ACT region is very special as far as renewable energy goes in that we have all the technologies represented here in this region. Suri began as a way to bring together industry, government, research and local communities. We sat down and we brought a few people together initially and we found we had a lot of energy happening in the room at that first meeting. People really loved the idea. So we then went to ARENA, to the New South Wales government, to the ACT government and to industry itself and said we'd like to develop a renewable energy industry cluster here in this region and would you please fund us? And they said yes. So we were particularly inspired by industry coming in at that point, very appreciative of government, but to have the industry support at that time was um, gold. We're one of the highest capacity wind farms in the southeast of the state. We do see ourselves an extension of the uh, renewable energy sector down here in southeast New South Wales, jumping on the back of Snowy Hydro and the likes. And I, I can tell you the industrial area of Cooma, which is Polo Flat, uh, has, was sort of rejuvenated again when the wind farm started. And they would love to see stage two of Boko Rock go ahead. There is a lot of good employment generated from it, a lot of good industry. One of the big drivers for us here at Woodlawn was, is providing employment to the area. As we opened up the new the mechanical biological treatment facility, uh, we employ about 50 people here on site, uh, and which has certainly been a, a great addition to the community. The philosophies of the industry cluster are about collaboration and information sharing. Some of Suri's successes include the Renewable Energy Trail, Renewable Energy Day, Gullen Range Wind Farm, Woodlawn Bioreactor, international trade delegations and local business engagement. I think renewable energy is a great thing. Uh, I think it's something that more, more people should get on board with. Um, it's a great thing for sustaining our future and the environment. 